All right, in this video, I'm going to detail some results in a recent experiment that I did uh, relating to handwriting uh, digit recognition. Um, so the uh, kind of the technique that I've been using um, is based on taking a handwritten digit that you want to classify and um, where it started was kind of the simplest technique is to produce uh, class averages. You take all the examples that you have of zero and, and average them together to get the class average and, and likewise for the other digits. And then you can take the digit that you're trying to recognize and uh, compare it to all of those class averages. These are difference maps. Uh, the, the difference map is bright or white. The more difference there is between the images and you basically sum up the amount of white in the image. Uh, these are uh, sorted with the best match at the bottom here, and, and so it correctly classifies it as a one. This is um, pretty crude though, as you can see, even the correct match uh, had pretty uh, significant parts of the image that don't overlap. From there, um, this is all kind of pre this latest experiment, just giving some context here. Um, from there, uh, the thought was, well, could we, um, rather than just using these class averages that we had up here that were very, very fuzzy in general and, and lead to um, not a great match, could we uh, find subclasses for each digit that are more specific uh, to a certain kind of style? Um, and so the technique that I used there is uh, what I call repeated splitting. So you take your average here, you find pixels that are about 50-50, and then you take all of the examples where that pixel was uh, white and you average them and you, you get this, where they're black, you get this, and you keep doing that repeatedly and you get these nice subclasses uh, at the bottom here. These blue pixels are indicating where we've conditioned um, those samples to be white. The red means we're conditioning it to be black. Uh, and so you get these uh, subclasses. So if you do that, um, and uh, when you're classifying a digit, you use this, what I call a trigger pattern, to look up which subclass uh, we want to compare our uh, digit with, the accuracy uh, improves quite a bit. So it was prior to using this subclass tree, uh, the accuracy was just 81%, and then this jumps it up to 93.3% if you just look up one of these subclasses and do the comparison to that guy. Um, I used uh, eight split points to, to produce 256 subclasses for every handwritten uh, digit. So 256 subclasses for zero, 256 for one, and so on. So then this experiment is, well, um, what if rather than just producing a single subclass tree for each digit, what if we did like 10 of them? And then what we would do is, given a digit that we want to rec or we want to classify, we look up the subclass from each of those trees. Uh, again, just for now, limiting that to considering whether it's a zero. So we have now ten uh, subclasses of zero that we have determined are likely somewhat similar to ours if it is a zero. And then we're going to average those subclasses together to hopefully get a bit of a more um, a bit more of a refined model, I guess, uh, and see if that increases the accuracy. So, um, oh yeah, this, uh, this is just demonstrating that uh, we can produce multiple subclass trees if we simply choose different split points. Here, um, I'm not showing the tree, I'm just showing the, the bottom uh, eight images for the first tree, second tree, and third tree, and you can see that the split points were different, and therefore the the subclasses that you get out are different. So, um, so given a, a digit that we want to recognize, uh, you would choose okay, which which one of these eight is matches uh, the trigger pattern of ours, and then maybe we'd select this guy, and then this guy, and then we'd average those all together, and hopefully get a more refined, what I call expectation model. So what were the results of this? Um, just to give you first of all two example digits. So let's start by uh, the original technique, was, which was just using the class mean, like the average zero. So this is a digit that we want to recognize. This is the average zero. This is the difference map. And the distance, um, so if you sum up all the, the white in this image and we use sum of squares, you get 134. 
um, using the single subclass tree. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's quite a bit better, uh, and the distance is 57. Here's the subclass that we looked up. Uh, it's the one that had a trigger pattern that matched our digit that we were uh, wanting to recognize. And then this is with this latest experiment um, where we've looked up 10 subclasses from 10 subclass trees, and we've averaged them. And you can just visually see that uh, you get a nicer um, kind of expectation model here. And then when you do the difference, uh, there's less white in this image. So the total, um, I shouldn't have said distance here. I should, I should say difference. But um, uh, the, the, the difference has, has dropped from 57 to 37. Um, indicating it's a closer match and so that actually helps our, our uh, classifier improve its accuracy. So a second example here, here's another zero. Uh, again, if we compare it to the average zero, we get this image, distance of 120. Um, this is a single subclass tree, so you can see this is more similar to the digit we're trying to recognize than the class average. Here's the, the difference map for a difference of 33. And then using our latest technique, looking up 10 subclasses and averaging them. Uh, again, you can kind of visually see, it's not maybe as obvious in this example, it's, but it's just a bit of a tighter fit compared to reality over here and, and results in less white in the image. So our distance has dropped from 33 to 24. So overall, um, we increased the accuracy of the classifier based on this technique from 93.3% to 97.7% which is a reduction in error of 65%. So it's a, it's a very good uh, step in the right direction. And you can see for each of the uh, digits here, the, the most inaccurately uh, classified is the five at only 93.5%. And then zero uh, is, we didn't have any errors. This is on a, a thousand, um, it's on a thousand uh, things that I'm just pulling out of the test set, so it's not, e or sorry, out of the training set. I don't think I even use the test set. I should go back and double check on that. But anyway, it gives you, just gives you a rough sense of the, uh, the improvement, so uh, a successful experiment.